I think we did it. Guess what we're doing today. You guys, summer is fast approaching, which of course means time for some watermelon snacks. Today, you guys, we are combining our macarons and some watermelon, and we are making watermelon macarons. Super easy recipe, really easy to make. We're gonna show you guys how to do it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at these beautiful collars on these girls. They're so cute. As always, you guys, I will put some Amazon affiliate links for everything you see in the video down in the video description below. Let's jump into it. Preheat your oven to 320. So for the main cookies, you are gonna need some flour. I'm using gluten-free flour. You can use all-purpose flour or whole wheat flour. Both will work just fine. Some honey, some egg whites, which you can either buy in a carton like this or you know, split them on your own. But since I'm doing so many, I'm doing that. And then for the filling, it's very simple. A little bit of whipped cream cheese and some watermelon juice. Not yet, honey. You'll get some when we get to the filling. So to get the look that we're looking for for these watermelon macarons, we will be making three different colors of the same dough. The first one we are going to make is the red. So first, you will need three egg whites and we're gonna put them into our mixer and we're gonna whisk them until they're fluffy. Now because we are making three different colors, we are going to add our food coloring to the egg whites. Don't eat them all. Don't eat them all, we won't have any if you eat them all. So we're gonna turn these red. You can do this by using regular food coloring or a little bit of beet juice or some powdered food coloring, whatever you would like. Or if you don't wanna use food coloring, don't add anything to it, but we're gonna make these red. So once your coloring is added, we're gonna go ahead and whisk these until they're fluffy, till about medium peaks. So once your eggs have peaks, see when you kinda lift that out, kind of got little peaks, they're nice and fluffy. We're going to add one tablespoon of honey. I'm not gonna measure it, we're just gonna add some. So like I said, about a tablespoon of honey and whisk it again for just a few seconds. Once our eggs are all fluffy, we're gonna add one cup of our gluten-free flour, which apparently Kira wanted to taste. We're gonna add it in here and mix it together. And plop, you just add it all in. We're gonna mix it until it kind of looks like Play-Doh. So like I said, kind of looks like Play-Doh. If it's a little too wet, as always, you guys, add a little bit more flour. If it's a little too dry, add a little bit more of the egg or a little bit of water. Now we are going to repeat this two more times with a light green color and a dark green color. But first, somebody's gotta lick the beaters. Yeah, good stuff. So now we have our red, our light green, and our dark green. Don't eat any of it, we need all this. Oh, here, you can lick this beater though. <laughs> Now we are gonna show you guys how to roll this out and make these cookies look like little watermelons. And for those of you wondering, where's the watermelon? It's gonna go in the middle of the cookies. So we gotta make the cookies first and the filling will have watermelon in it. Yes, you're gonna get to try this very soon. All right, Memphis is helping. We got daddy up here helping. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this red dough out into a log about the size of a quarter, between a quarter and a half dollar in thickness. So we have our red tubes of dough ready to go. We're gonna set these aside. Now we're gonna take the very light green color and we are going to roll it out, this is crazy, to 1 16th of an inch thick. So you're gonna have to stop about halfway and make sure you re-flour because it's gonna start to stick. Yep. So now we have the green dough really thin. Jamie's putting a little bit of water on it so that it will stick to the red dough. And see how that sticks. Yep, see how it sticks nice and good. And we're gonna roll it up, and then he's gonna cut it, and then we're on to the next one. And we're repeating that process, rolling out the green to, what did I say? Super thin. <laughs> and roll up with the dark green. So now you can see all three layers here. And now what we're doing is we're gonna take a little bit of fishing line and we're going to cut these to, what would you say, about a half an inch? Yep. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Ta-da! After we cut them, we're gonna take and put a little parchment paper on top and then, just like the other macarons, we're gonna flatten them. It looks like a watermelon. Now we're gonna put these in the oven for about 12 minutes. And look, to show you guys, we made some swirly ones as well. So if you don't wanna do this method, you can always do this method. 
So while those are in the oven, this is the perfect time to remind you guys that these are a treat, not a meal replacement. And if you wanna see more of our watermelon and other treat videos, there will be some links at the end of this video. And as always, you guys, if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends. You got some dough there? All right. As soon as these are done, we're gonna make the filling and then see what the dogs think. Cookies are out of the oven, they look amazing. Now, we're gonna take one of these food writer markers and add some dots to make them look like watermelons. So next, we are gonna take this watermelon, I'm gonna smash it up with a fork. We're gonna mix it in with this whipped cream cheese to make the watermelon flavoring, because I know you guys are asking, where's the watermelon in this recipe? Well, that's where it's going. One bite, honey, there you go. One bite, now I gotta give Memphis her bite. All right, Memphis, your bite. Oh, you're, you're taking nice little gentle bites. Unlike Kira who took a massive bite. Good stuff. Oh man, Kira's like, but I want, you took a giant bite out of your slice. You want a little nibble? That wasn't very little. There you go, nibble, yeah. Good job. Now we got the messy watermelon. <laughs> One more nibble, okay. One more nibble for Memphis as well. Here, Memphis. Good job. All right, let's make some watermelon filling. So now we've got our watermelon juice and our whipped cream cheese. We're gonna mix some together. Apparently Kira's gonna take a bite. And yes, for those of you wondering, that is dog cream cheese. It's specifically labeled on the top, so we know that we use it for the dog stuff. So it's starting to get pink. I'm just mixing it with a fork. You really don't have to use a lot. I wanna make sure you guys know I, I didn't use this whole bowl. I'm just gonna keep mixing this until it's ready. After adding it little by little, I got it perfect. I put it back in the fridge so it would stiffen up a little bit. And now we're gonna find cookies that fit and we're gonna put filling in the middle. I think we did it. The dogs are ready to try them. They turned out so cute. All right, let's let them taste them. All right, here we go. One for Kira, one for Memphis. You're actually gonna both stay there and eat it this time. Kira's like, I'm going for the filling. Memphis bit right in. And remember, these are a little bit more of a puffy cookie, not really a crunchy cookie. Memphis is almost done. I'm gonna move Kira's over here. Oh, you got it all over the place. Is that a win? Is that good? All right, you guys, as always, if you end up making these, tag us on Instagram. We would love to see how yours turned out. If you would like to see even more of our treat videos, there will be some links on the screen at the end of this video, and as always, down in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big. We will see you again soon. Watermelon macarons for dogs. I think it's a win.